Meron tayong dalawang methods ng pag-compute ng volume ng isang solid figure. Yung unang method na ginawa natin is yung disk method na kung saan yung formula ng disk method is given by pi, the integral of r squared dx. Now, disk method na matatawag yung ating ginawang example before kasi kapag ka yung inyong function, let's say this function right here na yung graph ng uh, y equals the square root of x, kapag ka ni-revolve nyo yung square root of x along the x-axis, magkakaroon ka ng solid figure na kung saan magkakaroon ka na ang cylindrical cone. Now, ito ay disk method kasi kapag kumuha ka ng slice o isang slice dito sa solid figure natin, may mabubuong disk or parang plate-like um, figure. So, kaya siya tinawag na disk method. At kapag disk method yung gagamitin natin, wherein meron tayong isang radius, yung formula na gagamitin natin sa pag-compute ng volume will be this formula. Now, for today's lesson, ang gagawin naman natin is yung washer's method. Now, washer's method ang tinatawag dito sa susunod nating solid figure dahil kapag ka meron tayong function, same function nung nandun sa top, pero this time, hindi natin siya i -re revolve around the x-axis. i -re revolve natin siya sa, let's say, y is equal to negative 2. So, kapag ni-revolve natin yung figure mula dito, imagine nyo na mabubuo to or makakabuo tayo ng figure na kung saan yung center natin will be right here at y equal to negative 2. So, mapapansin nyo na meron tayong butas doon sa loob ng ating solid figure. Kaya ito tinawag na washer's method kasi kapag kinuha mo yung isang slice dito sa figure na to, may mabubuong isang parang um, object na parang washer na kung saan merong hole doon sa gitna at tapos meron ka ditong circle doon sa labas. So meron tayo ngayon dalawang radii. Yung inner ra radius natin at saka yung outer radius natin, ang kakailanganin natin sa pag-compute ng volume ng area using the washer's method. So once again, ang washer's method ginagamit natin na kapag ang volume ng solid figure ay eh merong butas sa gitna. At ito yung formula sa pagkuha ng volume ng isang solid figure na kung saan washer's method yung gagamitin. Ito yung pi times the integral of r outer or yung mas malaking radius squared minus r inner which is yung mas maliit na radius squared dx from a to b. At ito yung formula na gagamitin natin ngayon sa pagcompute ng volume ng solid generated, generated by your function. So in this example, we're supposed to compute for the volume of this function where in yung region enclosed by the curves y equal to x and y equal to x squared being rotated about the x-axis and then we're going to find its resulting solid using the formula that we or I presented a while ago. So ito yung ating function na binibigay doon sa problem. Itong kulay pula na to, yan yung parabola nyo which is given by the function y equal to x squared. At itong line nyo naman, yan yung ating equation na y equal to x. So meron tayong dalawang functions. At ito yung itsura ng function natin at kailangan daw natin kunin yung volume generated by this function being rotated along the x-axis. So imagine nag-rotate kayo dito ng figure along the x-axis, meron tayong dalawang circles. Yung circle doon sa butas at yung circle doon sa solid figure. So meron tayo ngayong inner radius at saka outer radius. Na yan yung gagamitin natin sa pag-compute ng volume using the formula pi, a time, or pi times the integral of r outer squared minus r inner squared from a to b dx. So, una natin gagawin sa pag-solve nitong volume ng solid figure na to is kunin natin yung radius ng outer circle or outer radius noong circle. So, yan yung mas mahabang radius nyo. So, ito yung mula sa top papunta sa bottom. So, yung top nyo will be the function y is equal to x minus yung bottom which is y equal to 0. So, you have x minus 0 for your 
outer radius at dun sa inner radius nyo naman will be x squared minus 0 because yung top ng inner circle will be yung parabola which is x squared minus 0. So, meron na tayong dalawang radii. Isa sa outer at isa sa inner or yung isa sa mas mahabang radius or isa naman sa mas maikling radius. So, depende na lang yun kung paano nyo titingnan yung radius na nakikita nyo doon sa solid figure. So, to substitute the formula doon sa ating equation, yung ating Outer radius is given by x, so r outer squared will become x squared, at yung r inner squared will become x squared raised to 2 dx from 0 to 1. Now, 0 to 1 kasi yung ating interval is from 0 to 1 kapag kinuha natin yung point of intersection ng ating dalawang functions. At pag Sinimplify natin yung integral function, we'll have x squared minus x to the fourth dx. At kapag ka evaluate natin yung interval, it will give us pi times x cubed all over 3 minus x to the fifth all over 5. Na evaluate natin or isosolve natin from 0 to 1. And it will give us pi times 2 over 15. And to further simplify, you'll get 0.419 unit cubed. So ito yung ating volume doon sa solid figure generated by the two function being rotated on the x-axis na nakakabuo ng isang washer. Now, to uh, visualize our function better, papakita ko sa inyo yung aking presentation doon sa rotated figure ng function na ito. So, sa example na to, tulad nung example kanina, yung ating mga function will be y equal to x and y equal to x squared. Ito yung graph ng y equal to x squared at ito naman yung graph ng y equal to x. Yung region will have an intersection at 0, 0 at saka 1, 1. So, yan yung ating area doon sa ating um, region enclosed by the two curves. Tapos, ang kailangan daw natin gawin is to find the volume generated by rotating the function along the x-axis. So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong washer. So, meron tayong mas malaking radius at mas maliit na radius. So, kakailanganin natin yan para sa formula ng pagkuha ng volume ng washer method. So, yung bigger radius will give us a radius of x, kasi yun yung top function, minus 0, at yung bottom function naman will be x squared minus 0, which will give us x squared. Now, plugging into the formula, we'll have pi times the integral of x squared minus x squared raised to the second power dx from 0 to 1. And to further simplify your function using outer and inner, you'll have the integral and to evaluate the integral, meron kayong pi times x cubed all over 3 minus x to the fifth all over 5 from 0 to 1. So tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, substitute lang natin yung upper limit and lower limit. And we'll, got, we'll have the volume of this function at 4 or 0.419 unit cubed. At yan yung ating graphical display ng ating um, problem a while ago. Now let's have another example. Now, in this example, we need to find the volume generated by the curves y is equal to x and y is equal to x squared. Now, being rotated about the line x is equal to 1. So, parehas pa rin yun ng function natin ng example number 1. But this time, i-rotate natin yung ating function not on the y-axis but at x equal to negative 1. So, kapag ni-rotate natin to, imagine nyo na i-rotate natin tong function na to dito sa x equal to negative 1, makakabuo ka ng solid figure na merong buta sa gitna. At dahil may buta sa gitna yung ating function, magkakaroon tayo ng washer method. However, since ni-rotate natin yung function along the y-axis, yung orientation ng function natin will no longer be y is equal to x squared. Since this function is with respect to x, kailangan natin siya i-convert with respect to y kasi sa y-axis tayo nag-rotate this time or parallel to the y-axis. So from y is equal to x squared, i-convert natin siya into x equal to squared of y and from y equal to x, yung ating converted function will become x is equal to y. Now yung function natin is in terms with y or with respect to y, so pwede na tayong gumawa or kumuha ng volume ng ating solid figure using our formula. So dalawa yung ating radii, yung mas malaking radius at yung mas maliit na radius. So yung outer radius natin will have right minus left at yung right minus left natin will be the function square root of y minus negative 1 at yun ay equal to the square root of y plus 1. So, ito yung ating radius dun sa ating outer radius. At yung inner radius natin, yung mas maliit, will be from x equal to y. So, y 
minus negative 1, which gives us y plus 1. So, ito yung dalawang values or terms or functions na gakailanganin natin para sa ating washer method. So, to plug it in, we have the volume equal to pi times r squared or the bigger radius squared minus the smaller radius squared from a to b dy. And i-plug in lang natin dun sa formula and using our integral function, makakakuha tayo ng value ng function na ito pagkapag in-evaluate natin yung integration at 1 half. So, 1 half yung ating um, evaluated value kapag ka kinuha natin yung integration ng function from 0 to 1, multiply it by pi, and you'll have 1.571 unit cubed. At yan yung pagkuha ng volume natin rotated along the y-axis.